Inward rectifier potassium channels IRC, are a specific subset of potassium channels. To date, seven subfamilies have been identified in various mammalian cell types, plants, and bacteria. They are the targets of multiple toxins, and malfunction of the channels has been implicated in several diseases. ERC channels possess a pore domain, homologous to that of voltage-gated ion channels, and flanking transmembrane segments TMSs. They may exist in the membrane as homo- or hetero-oligomers and each monomer possesses between two and four TMSs. In terms of function, these proteins transport potassium K+, with a greater tendency for K+, uptake than K+, export. Overview of inward rectification a channel that is inwardly rectifying is one that passes current positive charge more easily in the inward direction into the cell than in the outward direction out of the cell. It is thought that this current may play an important role in regulating neuronal activity by helping to stabilize the resting membrane potential of the cell. By convention, inward current, positive charge moving into the cell, is displayed in voltage clamp as a downward deflection, while an outward current, positive charge moving out of the cell, is shown as an upward deflection. At membrane potentials negative to potassium. S reversal potential, inwardly rectifying K plus channels support the flow of positively charged K plus ions into the cell, pushing the membrane potential back to the resting potential. This can be seen in figure 1, when the membrane potential is clamped negative to the channel. S resting potential, e.g. minus 60 millivolts, inward current flows, i.e. positive charge flows into the cell. However, when the membrane potential is set positive to the channel's resting potential, e.g. plus 6 ohmV, these channels pass very little current. Simply put, this channel passes much more current in the inward direction than the outward one, at its operating voltage range. These channels are not perfect rectifiers, as they can pass some outward current in the voltage range up to about 30 mV above resting potential. These channels differ from the potassium channels that are typically responsible for repolarizing a cell following an action potential, such as the delayed rectifier and A-type potassium channels. Those more Typical. Potassium channels preferentially carry outward, rather than inward, potassium currents at depolarized membrane potentials, and may be thought of as outwardly rectifying. When first discovered, inward rectification was named anomalous rectification. To distinguish it from outward potassium currents, inward rectifiers also differ from tandem pore domain potassium channels, which are largely responsible for leak. K plus currents. Some inward rectifiers, termed weak inward rectifiers, carry measurable outward K plus currents at voltages positive to the K plus reversal potential corresponding to, but larger than, the small currents above the zero nanoamperes line in figure 1. They, along with the leak channels, establish the resting membrane potential of the cell. Other inwardly rectifying channels, termed strong inward rectifiers, carry very little outward current at all, and are mainly active at voltages negative to the K plus reversal potential, where they carry inward current, the much larger currents below the zero nanoamperes line in figure 1. Mechanism of inward rectification the phenomenon of inward rectification of Kier channels is the result of high affinity block by endogenous polyamines, namely spermine, as well as magnesium ions, that plug the channel pore at positive potentials, resulting in a decrease in outward currents. This voltage-dependent block by polyamines results in efficient conduction of current only in the inward direction. While the principal idea of polyamine block is understood, the specific mechanisms are still controversial. Activation by PIP2 All Kier channels require phosphatidylinositol 4,5-bisphosphate, PIP2, for activation. PIP2 binds to and directly activates Kier 2.2 with agonist-like properties. In this regard Kier channels are PIP2 ligand-gated ion channels. Role of Kier channels Kier channels are found in multiple cell types, including macrophages, cardiac and kidney cells, leukocytes, neurons, and endothelial cells. 
By mediating a small depolarizing K plus current at negative membrane potentials, they help establish resting membrane potential, and in the case of the KIR-3 group, they help mediate inhibitory neurotransmitter responses, but their roles in cellular physiology vary across cell types. Regulation Voltage dependence may be regulated by external K+, by internal Mg2+, by internal ATP and or by G proteins. The P domains of ERK channels exhibit limited sequence similarity to those of the Victoria family. Inward rectifiers play a role in setting cellular membrane potentials, and closing of these channels upon depolarization permits the occurrence of long-duration action potentials with a plateau phase. Inward rectifiers lack the intrinsic voltage-sensing helices found in many Victoria family channels. In a few cases, those of KIR 1.1a, KIR 6.1 and KIR 6.2, for example, direct interaction with a member of the ABC superfamily has been proposed to confer unique functional and regulatory properties to the heteromeric complex, including sensitivity to ATP. These ATP-sensitive channels are found in many body tissues. They render channel activity responsive to the cytoplasmic ATP-ADP ratio increased ATP-ADP closes the channel. The human SUR1 and SUR2 sulfonylurea receptors SPQ09428 and Q15527, respectively, are the ABC proteins that regulate both the KIR 6.1 and KIR 6.2 channels in response to ATP, and CFTR TC number 3, a point 1.208.4, may regulate KIR 1.1A. Structure The crystal structure and function of bacterial members of the ERC C family have been determined. Kerbak 1.1, from Burkholderia pseudomale, is 333 amino acyl residues AAS, long with two N-terminal TMSs flanking a P-loop, residues 1 to 150, and the C-terminal half of the protein is hydrophilic. It transports monovalent cations with the selectivity K approximately equals RB approximately equals C's Li approximately equals Na approximately equals NMGM protonated N-methyl D-glucamine. Activity is inhibited by Ba2+, Ca2+, and low pH. Classification of Kier channels there are seven subfamilies of KIR channels, denoted as KIR 1, KIR 7. Each subfamily has multiple members, i.e., KIR 2.1, KIR 2.2, KIR 2.3, etc., that have nearly identical amino acid sequences across known mammalian species. KIR channels are formed from as homotetrameric membrane proteins. Each of the four identical protein subunits is composed of two membrane spanning alpha helices, M1 and M2. Heterotramers can form between members of the same subfamily, i.e. KIR 2.1 and KIR 2.3, when the channels are overexpressed. Diversity Diseases related to KIR channels Persistent hyperinsulinemic hypoglycemia of infancy is related to autosomal recessive mutations in KIR 6.2. Certain mutations of this gene diminish the channel's ability to regulate insulin secretion, leading to hypoglycemia. Barter's syndrome can be caused by mutations in KIR channels. This condition is characterized by the inability of kidneys to recycle potassium, causing low levels of potassium in the body. Anderson's syndrome is a rare condition caused by multiple mutations of KIR 2.1. Depending on the mutation, it can be dominant or recessive. It is characterized by periodic paralysis, cardiac arrhythmias and dysmorphic features, see also KC and J2. Barium poisoning is likely due to its ability to block KIR channels. Atherosclerosis heart disease, may be related to KIR channels. The loss of KIR currents in endothelial cells is one of the first known indicators of atherogenesis, the beginning of heart disease. Thyrotoxic hypokalemic periodic paralysis has been linked to altered KIR 2.6 function. East sesame syndrome may be caused by mutations of KC and J10. See also G protein coupled inwardly rectifying potassium channel 
Transporter Classification Database Herg References Further reading Bertil Hill, 2001 Ion Channels of Excitable Membranes 3rd ed., Seinauer, Sunderland, M.A., pp. 149-154. ISBN 0-87893-321-2. External links Inward plus rectifier plus potassium plus channels at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, MESH. Inwardly Recifying Potassium Channels", IUPHAR Database of Receptors and Ion Channels. International Union of Basic and Clinical Pharmacology. UMISH Orientation of Proteins in Membranes Families, Family 85 Spatial Positions of Inward Rectifier Potassium Channels in Membranes